You may have seen recently some of those familiar orange signs on the road to the Hotel Hantana, leading to the Institute of Fundamental Studies, our temporary home. Pardon me if I take a few moments to say a word about this neighbor of yours now in the city of Kandy. The Institute was set up by an act of parliament in order to provide Sri Lanka with a center where research of importance could be undertaken for the benefit of the country. It is similar in a way to the Tata Institute of Fundamental Studies in Bombay, which was set up by Pandit Nehru with the help of Homi Baba around the middle 40s. Fundamental research is the backbone of applied research. It is the backbone of the economic and social development of any country and a precursor of new inventions and the cradle of young scientific talent. Over three decades after independence, there was no organization in Sri Lanka to address the demand for fundamental research. The National Institute of Fundamental Studies NIFS was established in 1981 by an act of parliament by His Excellency the President J.R. Jayavadana on the premise that scientific progress in any country depends on a cohesive network of national scientists involved in fundamental research. The NIFS will be a global partner in fundamental research of national importance for improved quality of life while promoting North-South and South-South Dialogue, offering a platform through science dissemination. The NIFS acts as a catalyst in transferring promising scientific discoveries to potential applications by strengthening industry research partnerships. The NIFS will also establish multi- and transboundary research partnerships with national, regional and international organizations in solving scientific problems in Sri Lanka. The NIFS is nourished by an array of world-renowned Sri Lankan scientists as former directors as Professor Chandra Vikramasinghe, Professor Cyril Ponnamperuma, Professor Kirti Tennukon, Professor C.B. Disanayaka and Professor Parakrama Karuna Ratna. The NIFS is driven for excellence under the dynamism of the present director, Professor Saman Senevira, who has already marked Sri Lanka in the world map excelling fundamental research in plant pathology. The 2019 Annual Science Conference of the NIFS offers scientific discoveries in the past year for public audit. The 17 NIFS research groups align along with Energy and Advanced Materials, Theoretical Physics and Computational Studies, Natural Products and Food Chemistry, Microbiology and Carbon Sequestration Earth Environmental and Biodiversity Molecular Biology and Biotechnology We should preserve every scrap of biodiversity as priceless while we learn to use it and come to understand what it means to humanity. NIFS Research Group on Evolution, Ecology and Biodiversity focus on understanding how the loss of biodiversity modifies ecosystems. Our researchers use taxonomy, molecular biology, phylogenetics and field ecology to build a comprehensive understanding of the evolutionary processes involved in the formation of biodiversity. In the modern world, our taste buds, our brain chemistry, our biochemistry, our hormones and our kitchens have been hijacked by food. The NIFS Food Chemistry Group focuses on exploring the application of food chemistry to underutilized plant resources. Adding value to the underutilized resources is vital as Sri Lanka has enriched the biodiversity of plant resources. The researchers also devise technologies to ensure the quality and authenticity of food products to safeguard consumers from fraudulent practices. The NIFS Nutritional Biochemistry Research aims at the functional and nutritional properties of food, food bioavailability and food safety. The NIFS Biochemistry researchers pursue in-depth research to probe food antioxidant properties, 
enzyme inhibition, radical induced DNA damage, and the identification and prevention of active compounds that pose health risks. Our world is built on biology and once we begin to understand it, it then becomes biotechnology. The director NIFS leads a plant stress biology and molecular genetics research laboratory which aims at gaining a comprehensive understanding of the mechanisms of climate stress tolerance in plants in making informed decisions to improve the stress tolerance levels of plants. The research focuses on improving photosynthesis and yield gap in rice. Furthermore, zinc an iron biofortification of rice and the minimization of toxic element accumulation. The NIFS microbial biotechnology and rhizobium researchers developed biofilm biofertilizers and rhizobium biofertilizer for agriculture and plantation crops. Biofilm biofertilizers are used over 15,000 acres of rice in Sri Lanka, cutting down 50% of chemical fertilizer usage while increasing crop yields by up to 40%. Rhizobium biofertilizers are now used in thousands of acres in legume cultivations replacing urea. Further fundamental researchers are underway to evaluate their potential as microbial ameliorators in the soil and the environment. The microbiology and soil ecosystems research focuses on determining the soil carbon sequestration potential, its dynamics and the method of improvement in different major vegetation types of Sri Lanka. Our scientists use GIS technology for mapping of the carbon storage capacity of the Sri Lankan ecosystems. Molecular microbiology research interests revolve around microorganisms and human diseases our researchers aimed at understanding microbial diversity in the environment and also within the human body. It is often noted that taxonomy is sometimes science and sometimes an art. But really, it is a battleground. The NIFS Plant Taxonomy and Conservation Group is involved in taxonomic and biogeographic studies of flora of Sri Lanka, preparation of the National Red List for Flora, sustainable use of plant resources, identifying factors that affect the conservation of the flora of Sri Lanka, including the prevalence of invasive alien species and restoration of ecology. It is stated that you should never call anyone a baboon unless you are sure of your facts. The NIFS primate biology researchers conduct observational studies on primates in their natural forest habitats to understand their evolution of social behavior and provide a scientific basis for the effective management and conservation of primates and other organisms. Our scientific work has been buttressed by studies in population genetics, paternity exclusion, epidemiology and physiology, ecology, and vital statistics of wild monkeys. Nobel laureate Olea said that one of the most significant mathematical discoveries of all times were guided by physics intuition. The NIFS Condensed Matter Physics and Solid State Chemistry Research Group seeks novel pathways to improve the performance of dye-sensitized solar cells using nitrogen-doped titanium dioxide or nanofiber-based gel electrolytes. They also engage in developing rechargeable batteries using magnesium ion conducting polymers. Low-cost nanofiber filters were also developed for arsenic removal in drinking water. The NIFS Condensed Matter Group also plays a pivotal role in the multi-university solar edu training research development and training programs administered through the Science, Technology and Research Ministry for building a youth workforce competent in solar technologies. The aim of the Energy and Advanced Materials Chemistry researchers is to devise new avenues for renewable energy. They devised artificial chemical devices to mimic the natural photosynthetic process to produce green fuels. 
The researchers also devised chemical and photochemical methods for pollution control. Additionally, a multifaceted approach was proposed to elucidate CKDU etiological factors. If we wish to make a new world, we must have the new material ready. Material processing and device fabrication researchers are involved in basic research in material processing and device fabrication with an emphasis on graphite, graphite-based devices, carbon supercapacitors. The NIFS materials researchers are also involved in the conversion of waste materials such as coconut shells to conducting activated charcoal for versatile applications in electronic devices to develop fast charge stations for the latest technology electrical motor vehicles. Nanotechnology is the science and art of manufacturing with atoms. Nanotechnology and physics of material researchers are active in the development of Sri Lankan graphite for rechargeable battery application, advanced transition metal semiconductors for energy conversion, fabrication of nanomaterials and composites from Sri Lankan graphite, and development of local minerals for efficient water purification. The objective of the NIFS Natural Products Research Group is the identification of bioactive compounds from natural sources as potential resources for control of human and plant diseases, including post-harvest fungal disease in horticultural fresh produce. Research activities focus on understanding the chemistry and bioactivity of secondary metabolites from plants fungi and the fruits of Sri Lanka using modern mass spectroscopic methods. If it is correct, it signifies the end of physics as a science. The quantum physics research group at the NIFS is engaged in investigating the fundamental aspects of quantum to classical transition, quantum chaos, quantum computing and quantum non-locality. Our researchers aim to understand the light emission mechanism in single bubble sonoluminescence, one of the major unsolved problems in physics. The main aim of the mathematics and computer science is to conduct research to make scientific advances in the discipline while generating knowledge needed for national development. We also focus our research on a wide range of areas including applied mathematics, mathematical modeling, artificial intelligence and data science. Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need, but not every man's greed. The Earth and Space Sciences Division has several multidisciplinary research programs, some of which are in the state of inception, while others are in the state of continuing and completion. This division has a broad spectrum of projects cross-cutting economic geology, mineralogy, petrology, geophysics, renewable energy, space technology and multi-scale theoretical modeling to unravel the natural processes. The NIFS Environmental Science Research Group aligns as Environmental Sciences, Plant and Environmental Sciences. In a broad sense, the research project addresses sustainable development goals of the United Nations, good health and well-being, clean water and sanitation, industry innovation and infrastructure, responsible consumption and production, and life on land. Our researchers also address nationally important questions such as improved water quality, zeolite-based composites, and phytoremediation of industrial and farm effluents. The NIFS is looking ahead to embark into fundamental research on philosophy and science history, ancient Sri Lankan technologies, a science and arts of archaeology, ethnic implications in science under social and philosophical sciences. The NIFS scientists are active around the clock to unravel the missing fundamental scientific components that retard the nation's development programs. We envisioned to be a world-renowned center of excellence for basic research.